Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn some of this copper tubing into a bracelet. I'm going to be showing you every step of the process so you can make your own at home. This copper tubing is a quarter inch thick. You can go thicker, you'll, you'll just have a little bit of a wider band. So I found the best length to start off with is about six and a half inches. If you have a little bit extra, you can cut some off if you need to. I've worked a little bit with copper. I used to make rings out of quarters. And the way that you anneal or soften the copper is the same way you would harden steel. So we're going to heat it up and quench it. That will anneal it and allow us to form the copper how we want. So I'm going to heat it up and as soon as I see a color change, I'm going to quench it in the water. Now we have this annealed. The next thing we do is we want to make sure the end is sealed and also we're going to start getting everything flat. Copper work hardened so if as you're hitting it, you notice it's a lot harder than it was, you go back and anneal it. But it lasts for a pretty long time. As I'm hitting this, keep in mind to any of the grooves I see, I'm hitting them so that I create a very flat, smooth surface. There's still a little bit, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there's some grooves in here I want to hit out. This side's pretty good. So I'm going to flip it over, work more on this side now. Alright, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the grinder. I'm going to grind the ends off and make sure that it is sealed. I'm going to clean this up and then I can start shaping it. After I grind the top off, I'm also going to be rounding it to have a nicer shape and so there's no sharp corners to catch on my skin. Now I'm going to go do the final shaping with a file. If we look right at the ends, you can see there's, there's no gaps. This is sealed, which is what we want. If you do see a gap, you just have to go anneal it again, hammer it some more, but it's pretty easy to do. Just using this file to get any sharp pieces. And I'll also be taking this to my buffer to clean it up, and that will finish softening everything. So now I'm going to run this on the buffer. It's going to polish this up real nice and soften the ends. You want to be careful when you're using the buffer. Any rough part can snag it and rip it out of your hands. I was just using polishing compound. What I'm going to use now is this mother's aluminum polish and it polishes up metals 
really nice. I've never tried it on copper before. Let's we'll see how well it does. That's how it looks after the polish. It's really shiny, really smooth. Now we can start forming it into the bracelet shape. I'm using this mallet so that I don't put any marks on the copper. What we're trying to do is get a C shape. We're gonna go really slow so we don't have any uh, big angles on it. So it's all really smooth. And we can start forming it with our hands also. Just really slowly working our way around it until we get the shape we want. We can kind of look at it, put it on our wrist, see where we want it, and just keep working it. Once we have it about where we want, we're going to want to tilt these in a little bit more so it locks on our wrist when it's on. And to make this a little bit easier on our hands, we can use pliers or something to grab onto it. And if you notice that it's sticking up a little bit, there's a little bit of a gap right there. You can see how much it's sticking up, and we'll put that right on the horn of the anvil. About how much it's sticking up. And we'll just hammer that down. And then that gets rid of the most of the gap. It creates a very snug fit. It's not going to go anywhere. There's no gap in there anymore. You can also experiment with different designs. I've just curled the ends of these. And this one uses a Dremel to create a design in it. This is a plain one we did. I stamped my my logo into this one. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos, and I'll see you next week.